<laughs> Thank you. Um, thanks for waiting. Um, really appreciate you guys staying here. Uh, and I know lunch is like lunch is starting, so I know you know trying to compete against lunch is pretty tough. So um, we are Stackerdao Labs, and we are going to show you how very soon you'll be able to generate and manage your own DAO on Bitcoin. So Stackerdao Labs build their community on Bitcoin. Uh, so, show of hands real quick, um, who here is a community manager? Great. Uh, now, who here is a UX expert? And that can include front-end developing, design, anyone working UX? Cool. Any, any smart contract developers? Probably a little less than I would have thought for a, a <laughs> uh, uh, Any governance experts? Okay, uh, lawyers? No? So DAOs tend to really focus on one aspect of this, community management. But the problem is DAO founders require competencies in all five of these areas to successfully launch and manage a DAO. And so the problem that we're solving is we're allowing DAOs to get back to what they know best, community building, by taking care of these other four areas for you. And so who are we? Uh, so my name is Orlando. I, well, I guess, was a practicing attorney. Uh, had a pretty very, uh, very career. Was like an interest rate trader for a bit. Uh, did uh, like business development and expansion for for a unicorn startup. Um, and then my co-founder Ryan, who unfortunately uh, some of you may have had flight issues, he's or he was supposed to be here like two days ago. Is now arriving probably in like thirty minutes, just in time to miss this panel. Um, or to miss a session. He, 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 the whole thing is probably like a front. He probably just wanted to miss it. But anyways, so Ryan has been a uh, was head of engineering at a Web3 startup. Um, so he's been a Solidity dev for about three years. He's been, um, he's been coding in Clarity since the, since the summer. Uh, and he's, all, he's also a full stack engineer and has about 10 years of experience um, be, being a dev. And so what we're building uh, is are different solutions to make it as easy as possible for you to be able to build and manage your own DAO. And that includes a no-code DAO generation and management platform um, that will have off-the-shelf templates, but um, we're also providing customized solutions. So if you um, want to structure your DAO in a different way, just come speak to us. Um, we're working with teams right now, um, building out custom smart contracts. Um, and so we can, you know, kind of like whatever you want, we can try to build it. Um, and we're also eventually going to be building dev tools so that way uh, devs can, uh, which I know probably some people here might like, can then kind of like form their own DAO, their own kind of like more complex styles. And then we're also providing legal tech and compliance uh, solutions so that way um, optionally if you want to like form a legal wrapper or help with like compliance filings, uh, we can assist with that as well. And so for today, we're going to unveil and walk through our DAO generation management platform. So. Um, when you get on our platform, you'll be able to or get on our app. You'll be able to, to um, go into the generation flow. Um, as like Newton back there is uh, going through it now. Um, and so the first thing you'll do is name your DAO. Um, so we're one of our early pr uh, partners that uh, w that we've been working with is City Packs. Uh, I don't know if Diego's here, but. City Packs is this awesome NFT project. If you don't have one, you should definitely get one. Um, that's sending a, a percentage of their proceeds to Miami-Dade public schools. Um, so just to kind of make things a little easier, uh, we're basically basically going to go through this as though you were like Diego setting up City Packs DAO. Um, so you, first, you'll name your DAO, uh, and then you select uh, like the NFT project. Just a quick aside. So Newton back there, he's a co-founder of uh, Bitcoin Badgers. Yeah, he's been our UI designer. He's done a kick-ass job. Uh, so if you don't have a badger yet, also get a badger. And also the other uh, Bitcoin Badger co-founder, uh, Setsus, uh, has also, he's, he's, a, he's a dev and has also been assisting us uh, reviewing our contracts as well. Um, so again, major shout out to Bitcoin Badger. And that's why, uh, if you notice there, there are two Bitcoin Badgers in the beginning. Um, new in yeah. Newton performing some psyops there to try to get you guys to get some badgers. Um, 
But anyway, so yeah, so you, can, you select the NFT, and now your DAO will be gated by um, holders of that NFT contract. So here, City Packs holders. Um, so one quick thing um, that you um, pe probably like haven't thought of, um, a lot of people probably haven't thought about this, but um, for security reasons, you'd have to whitelist your assets. So basically, every time you want to add like a new token to your DAO treasury, um, you'd have to eventually. So in, in the beginning, when you set up your DAO, you'll be able to, and we'll have eventually like a much larger list. You'll select what assets you want to whitelist into your DAO, and eventually, if you want to add more assets later, you can always pass a proposal to do so. The reason for this is that anyone can just make an ex, um, some kind of SIP10 token with malicious code and just kind of you know like wipe out your DAO treasury if you kind of just allowed any anything to kind of go into your DAO treasury. So it's a major security um, concern. And so um, one thing I just want to get into in in how our DAOs are structured is that um, they are full member on-chain voting DAOs and they also have automatic proposal functionality. Uh, so what this means is the full DAO can vote on-chain to, to pass a proposal. And when a proposal passes, it goes through. So if you want to um, swap, let's say, I don't know, like tokens on a DEX, right? If that proposal gets passed, the DAO is going to execute that and swap uh, the tokens. Also want to give a shout out to um, Marvin. I don't, I don't know if Marvin's here, but as we were developing our contracts, um, Marvin released Executor DAO, and a big kind of, um, I guess, like design, I guess, like innovation he had there was, um, he had the smart contract, the proposals being smart contracts, which leads to this automatic functionality. So we ended up actually forking um, uh, Executor DAO and kind of adding our own stuff to it. Uh, so Stacker DAO is a fork of Executor DAO, so kind of just wanted to give uh, Marvin a shout out for his contribution there. Um, yeah, and so v the way voting works is there will be a quorum, right? So a certain percentage of people, of, of members in the DAO will need to vote in order for any sort of um, vote, to, uh, any sort of proposal to be even, um, be, to be able to be passed or not. And then once the quorum is met, um, a certain percentage of yes votes need to, or there need to be a certain percentage of yes votes for that proposal to actually go through. And so once you kind of you select quorum, uh, your percentage your percentage for quorum and vote and and the percentage in which a of yes votes needed to pass a proposal, uh, you're ready to go. And so once you launch your DAO, you'll head into a dashboard. Um, and so this is our dashboard here. And as you can see, um, you'll see you'll be able to look into the treasury, look at recent transactions. You'll be able to see your members. Uh, you'll be able to see the DAO's activities. Uh, you'll so right, pretty easily, like if you want to deposit into the DAO, you'll be able to do so um, like right front and center. If you want to send, uh, so if you want to submit a proposal to send tokens, again, pretty easy. So just getting into set, um, submitting proposals. So let's say if you're city packs and you want to submit a proposal to stack some funds, right, to create this like perpetual fund that can then be used perpetually to fund different programs at Miami Dade Public Schools, you can, um, you can submit a new proposal uh, provide a title and a description so that everyone can kind of see what the proposal is for. Um, and then, you know, uh, select their inputs and submit the proposal. Um, and then you also notice there's like an inbox there. So, if, so certain things that kind of require your activity as a member. Oh, and by the way, sorry, just stepping out a bit. Um, if you, this is also the dashboard that you'd see if you're a member of the DAO. So if you're just like logging in, you know, you have a City Packs NFT, you'll be able to um, log in, and this is like the first screen you'll see. So the inbox will have kind of like action items um, that you will, um, that kind of like require your attention, such as um, proposals that have been submitted and that you can actively vote on. So here, let's say there's a proposal for, um, to send some of the funds to some, to, to basically, for, 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 this, for this after school program for Miami Dade Public Schools. So again, you'd read the proposal, um, you, you, know, you can kind of click it, you'll eventually be able, like, you'd be able to click into it and see the smart contract if you want to actually like really dig into the details um, and make sure that it's going to like the right, um, the right addresses um, and then actually vote yes or no if, on that proposal. And then um, after a certain amount of time, if, that, if, if enough votes are, um, are in and the, the, the proposal has been approved, um, then any DAO member can execute it. Um, and again, it'll go through and the funds would be sent uh, to, let's say, like a wallet held by Miami-Dade uh, Public Schools uh, for, for the purpose of this after school program. Yeah, so just now getting into kind of like our roadmap and what we're gonna be building next. 
Um, so we're currently in an accelerator uh, that many of you may know, but I, I'm not allowed to actually say. Um, we're currently, uh, so we've been test, our contracts have been done for about two weeks, uh, sorry, two months now. Um, and we're, and we've been thoroughly t uh, testing them. Um, so our, we're, so uh, you know, the big question that I always get by like literally everyone is one launch. So we're proud to announce that we're launching this month. Um, thank, thank you. Uh, we have, we're, we're not going to say like what projects with DAOs yet, but we have some pretty big uh, projects coming up um, that I think a lot of you will uh, be excited about, and I think a lot of you will end up being members of. Um, so I mentioned before that we also do custom, custom solutions, so literally like any sort of structure you're thinking of, um, we have probably have heard it already, and we might be already working on like certain contracts for it. Um, we're also starting to work on sub DAOs. So the idea being that, um, you know, obviously, you know, our view is that having a full member voting that's great and everything, but obviously that leads to inefficiencies. And so the full membership will be able to vote to create a sub DAO and allocate certain percentages of their treasury to the sub DAO, um, and that sub DAO will be run by, and it can choose like certain members from that sub DAO. So the idea, let's say, so if you're city packs, right? Let's say. Um, you want to focus on a particular like area, you want to have like some sort of committee, you can basically form that committee um, by forming a sub DAO, let's say four people, and then sending maybe like 10% of your treasury to that sub DAO. And the idea is that that sub DAO is always, um, it's, it's, it's being created by the consent of the full DAO, of the full membership voting, but because it only has like four people, it can act very quickly and it can act just like it has a lot more operational efficiency. Um, and so you can think of other use cases. Let's say if you have a, like a, a DAO that's kind of like actively trading more, right? Um, because like prices move quickly, you're gonna wanna be able to do things quickly. And so you can, you know, like create a sub DAO with like less people that then can move very quickly. Um, so those, and, and again, I think I mentioned before dev tooling. So uh, we're, we're gonna be launching an SDK, um, maybe more towards the fall where, um, again, devs can, can, can use it to kind of create their own DAOs and, and also if they want to replicate our user, our user interface on their own webs, on their own apps, uh, they'll be able to do so. And also other startups that maybe want to kind of like focus on DAOs um, or, and use, or use DAO infrastructure but don't necessarily want to build it out, they'll, they would be able to use our tools as like middleware. Um, and so now just heading into the future, um, so obviously building on Stacks, um, we're very, uh, we have a close eye on like Stacks Bitcoin development. So kind of how Chris mentioned, the, you know, the main goal is to eventually have like Bitcoin and treasuries. Uh, so eventually, this is called Bitcoin Unleashed, eventually you'll be able to have like Bitcoin funded DAOs and that's kind of, you know, like the main place where we're going. Uh, we're actively, as some of you may know, there have been proposals to create City Coins DAOs uh, and we have, we have been helping with that as well. So. Um, hopefully that gets passed and community, the community approves and we also have city coins DAOs. Um, but yeah, we're excited for the future. We're excited for DAOs on Bitcoin um, and we're excited for everyone to soon test out uh, our beta. So we're Stacker DAO Labs and build your community on Bitcoin. <laughs>